Hi friends, welcome back. It's hard to believe it, but we've reached the end of our school year. So this is the last story I'm going to be reading for you. And then hopefully the next time I see you, we can be together again and I can read a story to you instead of make a video for you to see me reading a story to you. Wouldn't that be great? I've sure missed you guys a lot. This week, I am reading the book, Llama Llama and the Bully Goat, and it is written by Anna Dudney. Now, the reason I chose this book is because it talks about getting along with one another. And in order to get along with one another, you have to be kind. And you also need to get help from adults sometimes if you're having a hard time getting along with someone. So this book talks about all of those things, and I also chose it because it takes place at a school, and it reminds me a lot of the time we had together. Llama Llama and the Bully Goat. Look at this picture. It's of a sandbox, just like we have at school. Llama Llama and the Bully Goat. To my sister, Tanya. Llama Llama, busy day, writing, counting, pictures, clay. Roll a pancake, draw the sun, almost everyone has fun. Time for circle, time for song, time to clap and sing along. Kitty, rhino, sheep, and calf, llama, nelly, and giraffe, all sing songs in their own way, moo and bellow, baa and bray. Llama Llama claps the beat, Gilroy Goat just points and bleats. Sheep goes baa and calf goes moo, Gilroy thinks that's silly too. Llama Llama likes to sing. Gilroy laughs at everything. Llama sings out just the same. Gilroy says a not nice name. Teacher has some things to say. Calling names is not okay. Being mean is not allowed. Teacher says to stop it now. Time for recess. Go outside. Monkey bars and slippy slides. Nellie's dolly makes a road. Fuzzy llama pulls a load. Kids climb up and kids climb down. Everybody runs around. Nellie's dolly wants to dig. Fuzzy drives a great big rig. Doesn't this picture remind you of our playground? Gilroy stands in Fuzzy's way. Gilroy, do you want to play? Gilroy bleats and kicks the dirt. He gets sand on Llama's shirt. Gilroy throws some dirt at Nelly. Ha ha, news are really smelly. Gilroy pushes, Fuzzy falls. Ha ha, Llama's play with dolls. Gilroy is not being very nice. Gilroy snickers, laughs, and kicks. Gilroy tosses toys and sticks. Gilroy stomps on Llama's coat. Gilroy is a bully goat. They are not happy with Gilroy. Gilroy, this is not okay. Stop it 
or will go away. Being bullied is no fun. Walk away and tell someone. Gilroy fusses, frowns, and pouts. Gilroy gets a long time out. Teacher says, let's try again. Gilroy, can you be a friend? No more kicking, no more names. Time to play a nicer game. End of recess, back inside. Gilroy sits by teacher's side. Everybody sings the song, and this time Gilroy sings along. End of recess, back inside. Gilroy sits by teacher's side. Everybody sings the song, and this time Gilroy sings along. Gilroy Goat has fun with Llama, but school is over. Here comes Mama. Tomorrow has more games to try. See you then. Friends wave goodbye. Do you remember when you were in school? And sometimes we had friends who didn't want to follow the rules. And sometimes we had to talk to them about that. And do you remember maybe missing Mama? and then mama coming to pick you up. Moms and dads and grandmas and uncles sometimes even came to pick you guys up. So that was always special at the end of our day and looking forward to seeing our friends. Now this week I suggested an activity for you to do that involves rocks. And I asked for you, you'll need an adult for this. Um, an adult will have to help you but it involves melting crayons on rocks. And we're calling them friendship rocks. And so here's one here that I picked up that I did with my kids today. And I put one of your names on it. Can you see whose name it is? Starts with a J. Whose name starts with a J? James. James' name starts with a J. So in order to make this rock for James, we got them hot. And then we used crayons and melted them on the hot rocks. Then once everything was dried and cooled off, we could pick the rocks up and write names on them. You could do the same thing and you could write names on the rocks and give them to your friends. Or you could just melt crayon on them and then put them out in your yard or you could put them in someone else's yard for them to find as a nice surprise. So these are friendship rocks that we made. This one says James. Let's see, whose is this? Starts with a G. Whose name starts with a G? Georgia. There's your rock, Georgia. Some of them might be hard to see because they came out dark. This one starts with an S. Whose name starts with an S? A couple of you. This one says Skyly. Here's one that's really unique. And it starts with a W. Does your name start with a W? One of you does. It's Willa. Here's one that starts with an A. Two of you have names that start with A. This one is for Abe. Here's one that starts with an E, and it's really hard to see because it's dark. Can you see it? It says Eldrick. Here's another one that starts with an A. This one says Ashlyn. Here's one that I wrote that starts with an S. This one says Sammy.
Here's one that starts with a C. This one is for Connor. Here's one that starts with a T. This one is for Tabor. And my last rock starts with an E. And it says Emma. So I hope you got to see your rock. And I will bring your rock by and leave it in your yard somewhere so that you can find it. I'll do that this week. So you might have to go on a little rock hunt. Okay? All right, you guys. Let's hope to get together soon uh, so that we can play and sing songs and read a story. I hope you guys are well. Bye-bye.